Hello to all my Kinvians out there. Uh, this is going to be rather unedited, so I apologize if there's any random weirdness in the beginning and end. But, <laughs> uh, today I wanted to share with you all just a few thoughts on uh, where I'm wanting to go moving forward with the, well, Papakin Media Channel, but more importantly, the Papakin label, I suppose you might say. And, well, as far as the channel itself goes, um, I've, you know, I've made it no secret that there's a lot of things I want to do. I want to do video game related material. I want to do more of the, um, late to the video game review series, uh, among others, just even regular video game reviews. Um, in addition to doing, continuing, rather, my first impressions videos, which, I mean, I would like to do those every week, but that probably isn't very feasible. Again, just trying to give myself time for all these things. But yeah, as far as the channel itself goes and how it moves forward, I'm going to be letting you all know uh, what I do as it goes along. And yes, I am finally going to be updating the calendar today. I apologize for the lateness of that. It's just been crazy. <laughs> but beyond that, uh, beyond the channel itself, wanting to talk about more the focus of Papa Ken in general. Not myself, but again, the, the label Papa Ken or Papa Ken Media, whichever I decide to do. And that is, it, it has a lot to do with where I had mentioned, well, both in yesterday's video, but also on my social media where I mentioned that I'm starting to work toward getting my A plus certification. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's essentially a certification that um, a lot of people get when they want to go into, or they are in, the IT profession. <laughs> and the reason I'm wanting to do that is, I, I've, I've kind of realized this for a long time, but it wasn't until recently when I actually helped out some friends with some of their uh, computer issues, getting things hooked up to the printer properly, the Wi-Fi printers and all that, which those things are a headache. It, 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 very simple, but in the end still a bit of a headache. And it's that I... I still want to keep my profession in computers and possibly do some light programming, but I really like working with my hands. I really like putting computers together. I love taking them apart, putting them back together, upgrading them, if you will. And I even, uh, for the tattoo shop that my best friend recently started working for, I put together just a, a basic computer for them. I mean, not a laptop, but like, you know, just an actual PC. And I really liked that. I enjoyed the process of finding the best parts and components for the money. I enjoy the point of actually putting the computer together, installing everything. I really enjoyed that. And I got more satisfaction out of doing that alone than programming has for the longest time, to be completely honest. And, oh, well, and by the way, if you didn't know my full-time profession is I'm a computer programmer. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so that's really what I want to do moving forward is I want to make IT my profession. More specifically, I'm wanting to try and move forward to a point where I'll possibly own my own IT company. A very, I mean, it's a very small company. As of now, my ideas of what I would specialize in would be in uh, the building of computers, uh, refurbishing of computers, which would be especially good for laptops and the such because it is possible to <laughs> build computers, but it can be a, much more tricky than just the normal process of um, building a PC for reasons that, if anyone is curious, I can explain in the comments, but it would take way too long right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I want to do. And 
if possible, I would love to do it sometime soon. I would love to make that move. I... It's probably not something that is feasible in the near future. But again, that's why I'm going for my A-plus certification. Because I'm, at least in my opinion, I'm pretty good at putting computers together. I'm pretty good at identifying all the parts and where they need to go. But when it comes to specifics, like being able to identify what port this is, or certain details like that, kind of goes over my head at this point. But that's also what I'm studying right now. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to put my studies into that, get those certifications that I need. A+, plus, um, possibly a few others. What is it? Network+. Plus. I can't remember them off the top of my head. But it would just be amazing to be able to do something like that. And even if I don't, like, you know, own a storefront at first. It's like, I, I, ideally I would build up to something like that, but at the very least get an office where I can work on building the computers, where I can work on the refurbishing aspects of computers. If I'm not making any sales, or not making many sales locally, would be able to go online and make sales there, um, you know, offer some repair services when I can. But not only that, if I own my own office, not just you know, here at the house, I would be able to dedicate certain times to Papa Ken Media specific aspects. I, I mean, obviously that would take planning and uh, we can't really just hash that out in the span of this video, but I don't know, that's, that's the dream at this point, is to be able to do something like that. And it's something that I want to share with you all in some form. So, yeah, my my goals in the short term, in addition to getting my A plus certification, is I want to build more computers for people. I mean, I would have no problem like just buying or not buy uh, well buying the parts and building computers, and then have the hope of selling them. But ideally, I would love to find people that are looking to get a more powerful PC or maybe even just upgrade the one they have and you know get the parts that are needed for it and then you know charge a bit of a fee so that I can make a little bit of profit off of that while at the same time getting some experience or rather additional experience that you know I can dedicate 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 toward my new profession <sighs> So yeah, um, <laughs> a lot of that may sound like gibberish or just kind of silliness to you all, but I am absolutely serious when I say these things. That's what I would love to do. This is what I would love to make my profession. And ideally, it's something that I'll be able to do soon. Now, again, soon is relative, <laughs> but yeah, I just really really want to give this a push because there's elements of other directions I've wanted to go in. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in videos before, but another direction I've wanted to go is um, uh, brain freeze, uh, business analyst, shall we say, where I use my uh, knowledge and experience as a programmer to dedicate it toward that position. And if I'm, you know, if I become an IT professional, working independently, I'd still be able to uh, do that. I'd be able to use those skills. And, you know, if I continue to study business analyst roles, I'd be able to d dedicate that, possibly work as a contractor um, for some small companies in the area. And actually, speaking of that, that's one of the things that would be absolutely amazing. Now, there are people that have much longer commutes than I do. Um, there's people that drive hours each way just to get to their job and then go back home. And for me, uh, going to work, uh, well, uh, going each way, it's it's a minimum of 30, uh, 35 minutes, like if there's basically no traffic and uh, don't hit any red lights. But other than that, the, the 
the commute time each way can range anywhere from usually about 45 minutes to over an hour. And again, I know that there are people that have much longer commutes, but if it were possible to be able to, again, have my own business and have it be local, like here where I live, be able to walk to work in half an hour, <laughs> that would just be absolutely amazing. It's a, I guess you could say it's a pipe dream at this point, but I also feel like it's an attainable goal in the long run. So yeah, I just, I have a lot of thoughts in that regard, a lot of things going through my mind, and a lot of things that would have to be hashed out in the long run. But even going, going in that direction, Papakin Media, the channel, is going to continue to be a very important aspect of my life. It's something I'm going to continue to work for, to bring you all um, the videos that you all thankfully enjoy. You know, I keep saying this, it's like, you know, there's so many, <laughs> I still can't believe that there's, well, at this point, almost... 2,700 people that like watching my silly little videos, but it's, but it's true. It's like, you know, despite me thinking it's like, you know, these are just silly little videos, you all enjoy them, and I enjoy you all watching and commenting, and I love hearing your thoughts. So, more than anything, I feel like trying to move in this direction is an expansion upon just everything I'm wanting to do with Papakin Media. And again, Papakin as a label or a company, I guess you might say. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's basically the main points of everything I wanted to discuss about this. Um, if you have any questions you might want to ask, feel free. Uh, you know, if you want to throw any comments out there, <laughs> let me know. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, again, I just wanted to share that with you all and let you know what I'm hoping to do in the nearish future. <laughs> but alright everyone, uh, hopefully this week, or well this coming week, I'll be getting back to the regularly scheduled videos. Um, I'll be sure to share uh, the updated calendar on Twitter and Facebook and all that so that you all can know what's coming up. But in the meantime, uh, it is in the morning. I have to get going to work, and so I will see you all later. Until next time, everyone, I am Papakin. As always, please do leave your thoughts in the comments down below and any questions, and I'll see you next video. Later.